welcome back gamers and welcome to my channel good to talk to you once again i do have to apologize first thing is first that i didn't make any video for such a long time i had a small accident you see i was working with my garden a couple days ago and um, there's one place that I have all my tools, garden stuff, you know, you know what I mean, machines and all the equipment. And over there I did not know there was a wasp hive and I got stunk several places and it was painful and I, I was hurt. Thanks God I'm better right now. And um, yeah, it was very, very painful. It was not just a regular wasp. I do believe it was like close to hornet, you know, the big, the big guys. You know what I mean? So yeah, it, it was uh, what it was. But I'm feeling much better uh, right now. Today I'm in very much talk about the new players and cruisers in general. I will talk about tier six and tier seven cruisers. How is that? Let me put it in way, uh, this way. There is a um, naval base, there are some missions, and I honestly believe sometimes you get tired, sick, tired about playing the tier 10 and ranked battles and some other, um, I have no idea, yeah, you can call it rank uh, battles and some other type of um, missions and uh, you, you really want a tier 6 and tier 7 dpm or a cruiser because let's face it if you are playing a defense mode game mode you know the one you have to defend the naval uh, base if you take a cruiser uh, you are probably the most important player of all i'm not saying the battleship are not bad it's just saying the dpm or killing those fast incoming destroyers cruiser you name it so I very much like to say that it's depend of how good or how bad how good or bad ship you do have and let's talk about Dutch cruiser guys I don't think they are bad but they are not I don't think they are have the best uh, gun um, either on the other hand they have one broken tier 4 uh, Dutch cruiser I honestly believe it's the best touch tree cruiser tier for tier because frankly at tier 4 I cannot come up with one single cruiser which is better than that particular Dutch cruiser. It's OP as all hell and uh, she's frankly a tier 5 cruiser uh, putting in a tier 4 ship. Thou potent, that potent strong. I do believe everyone will agree with me that tier 4 Dutch cruiser it's OP as all hell and probably the best cruiser overall in the whole entire game. Now if you're moving on at tier 5, tier 6, of course there are some improvement and you also get those gimmick with uh, dive bombers, uh, strike. However, it's kind of a hard to use versus, let's say, a destroy if it's not in smoke or kind of a need to predict where that particular cruiser and probably the best way to move it is to move in a big large damn island and you shoot behind the island island for someone who thinks you're safe and you know that will be the best bet to use those airstrike um now there is one thing i definitely see um and there is of course pretty good uh chance to put your enemy on fire i'm talking about the tier four five six and seven and trust me i play uh, this uh, uh, cruiser a couple times and i definitely see that it's good but there are quite a better cruiser at this stage um, so overall first you cannot brawl because let's say face it that is the only cruiser i do believe with the us who does not have any torpedoes so Someone pushing towards you kind of a suck because, you know, you cannot defend yourself. There's always a threat, even if it's another battleship or another cruiser or hell, even sometimes destroyer. They can push towards you because, you know, you don't have torpedo freight armament. Yes, you have guns, but that's all you do. Um, so overall, there is one weird gimmick about the entire cruiser i'm talking about the tier six and tier sevens because uh, of course at tier eight there's a lot of different type of cruisers and and so on uh, first thing is first the tier five and tier six uh armament are have 152 
8 152 millimeters on paper 900 meters it should be good on paper 11 percent to put you on fire it should be all right but the biggest problem is this stupid 8.5 seconds reload time and you think it's all right it's not bad i'm not saying you're bad but after all you only have eight guns for crying out loud at this uh, stage i'm talking the tier six um you do have budioni which in my honestly opinion it's a way way better cruiser with much more um eight seconds yes you you have uh, nine guns one more gun but you reload slightly faster but the biggest difference it's here when you have like 17 points captain let's talk about uh, when you have this perk guys plus 10 percent um of the he man each salvo hurts like hell i'll go so far if you pen all the um what do you call it and i have ifh also <laughs> if you land you will land all those shells every single time you will kill the destroyer faster than anything else because it's crazy those stupid 900 and what it was 950 meters per second 16.5 kilometers in range with the spotter planes you will even hit a battleship at i don't know 21 kilometers and good luck finding a cruiser with 21 kilometers in range at your six and you will hit the damn battleship h and every time you don't have struggle whatsoever to hit him how is that if as long as he's sailing straight with this dpm and flat arc even at 21 kilometers you can actually hit your target so i very much like to say that bugione has the best tier six guns in the game even more so than the let's say the molotov which literally this is a tier nine guns yes you heard me right i still believe that uh, those guns are long range crazy uh, flat easy to hit uh, guns and probably slightly better to put your enemy on fire the problem is that you have too big of a reload time 12.5 seconds you may hit slightly harder but with ifhe and uh, with um, faster reload i still believe that but you only have a better guns overall and will slightly live a little bit faster so what's the gimmick of, uh, about the the, uh, the dutch cruiser airstrike but besides airstrike there is one thing that probably of you guys don't know but it's kind of a weird word gaming decide to put one of the best aa at tier six you heard me right guys with if you pay attention to this you have both force uh, a lot of both both force you know what i mean and you have this 425 um uh, damage i mean medium but only have medium that's all you have you don't have long range and the maximum range is mediocre 3.5 which basically means that you are not any um, should i say support for your battleship or uh, destroyers they have to be near you at 3.5 or within 3.5 and it's never gonna happen the problem is with this stupid 3.5 even if a uh, carrier will strike you and may lose let's say all your strike it can still strike you especially the soviet one who probably does not even come to near your 3.5 kilometers and um, um, send those torpedoes or those you know uh, weird um, uh, bombers and get you anyway you know what i mean so I do believe of all cruisers 3.5 it's the shortest and after that you have the italian with 4.6 kilometers and kind of a, a mediocre in AA. AA it's 43 and you know continuous damage short range 46 <laughs> long range 88 damage per second and maximum range it's 46 it's absolutely garbage AA the italian one and i very much like to say also the tier seven and this is not a tier six this is tier seven um you know very few points four points captains continuous damage uh, you know short range 81 in uh, damage the long range 60 pay attention and you have actually 
5.8 but with only 60 in AA and a mediums 98 with worth Dutch cruiser at tier 6 it was 300 something but then we come to tier 7 and this is the king of all tier 7 in AA department with whopping 651 but once again at 3.5 there isn't any other cruiser with 80 in AA yeah very very much like to say if uh, tier 6 cruiser uh, CV will strike you probably will lose quite significant planes if you build if you build the captain uh, you will even do more damage however let me know in the comment below is it any perk so I can use my uh, increase my range this is only increase the um, airstrike reload time it, this is not bad you increase your airstrike reload time man, uh, minus 10% and priority AA target by plus 25. It's probably a really need. I don't think you can... Uh, you cannot increase your AA, right? Because then uh, this ship will be broken. Let me know in a comment below. Uh, maybe with... The only thing you can do, probably, I'm just saying it's on the equipment. Uh, this is my build, by the way. Yes, with this one you can... Uh, uh, only survival no you can't so I don't believe I, I can do anything better no you cannot increase your range of the a bad because if this thing would have 5.8 kilometer it would be absolutely um probably a tier 9 cruiser of AA with this amount of AD in AA but of course this is only medium 3.5 but overall I very much like to say one of the best uh, tier 6 in AA department. I'm not saying the absolutely mm, uh, monster, but it is in somehow. This is at least I have 4.8 and uh, continuous damage 228 with 102 damage per second in long range uh, from 3.5 to 5.8. That is the, the, the strength about it. It's not a whole lot. And you have the um, uh, damage by medium 136, of which the tier 7 had 136, and this thing has 651. <laughs> uh, so it's like five times more, you know. But then, guys, I very much like to say that there are a very bad AA cruiser at Molotov, absolutely a garbage. Do not count for your A because you're not going to shoot one, die, one thing uh, uh, playing the entire game. And same thing with London. London, it's absolutely... Yes, it has 5.8. But then you have here, what? 56 in long range. Uh, Fiji, by the way, it has 102. Twice as much in long range. And this is literally only short range. It has 140. But the other uh, medium... Uh, uh, range is uh, 84 so once again guys it's a huge damn gimmick of all tier 6 and tier 7 crews and uh, grab speed also have a crazy bad AA only 5.2 and continuous uh, long range AA 77 and medium range it's 25 what the hell absolutely ridiculous bad it's so freaking bad, it's almost non-existent. But then guys, seriously, if you build, I'm not joking, if you build, I definitely saw one time, uh, he was a um, uh, captain in my team, he was a tier th uh, 6 uh, matchmaking with tier 6 carrier. He had shot in uh, uh, with this lovely ship, the Pensacola, mm, 35 planes down. So yes, the... Uh, super heavy uh, US cruiser if you build maybe I'm just saying maybe if you build um, 4.8 kind of a weird man only 4.8 how about Dallas it is Dallas a bigger AA platform 
Yes, 5.8. Yeah, 5.8. But on the other hand, long range, 63 only. It's not crazy, guys. It's not crazy. So, yeah. And same thing uh, with the Leander. Now, you know, the Leander, it's a 5.8 and it's... Ah. You may, you may not shoot some planes. That's the truth, guys. But yes, the Dutch Cruiser have a role. And I do believe the, the gimmick are to put your enemy on fire. I very much like to say that they are not bad fire starter. They are pretty alright-ish. The only problem is that they don't have, shall I say, uh, um, tools to... Um, to literally um, help yourself to disengage they are not the fastest one and uh, yeah I very much like to say that they are all right I just wish I just wish that they have a little bit longer regular at least like Italian 4.6 or something out at 3.5 yes you have great AA and I have no idea maybe your load pack with uh, both force guns, but for some very strange reason, we're giving the sign to you know only give this ship, which you know, frankly, I like to say that's a lot of uh, AA guns. That is the fact, guys. Seriously, uh, this short range probably it's a balancing factor. Let me know in the comment below what you think about the Dutch cruisers. Um, I honestly believe, guys, that. If you build with this one, you could definitely somehow do not be very afraid that the, the first thing the carrier will want to strike you. Because, come on guys, there are a lot of juicier targets than you. Sure, the biggest problem with this game is tier 6. There are very few tier 6 cruiser with decent AA. That is the fact. And a tier 7, yes, you do have uh, Miyoko and... Back time for like five years ago, it, it used to be a pretty good AA, um, shall I say, fleet escort. You will definitely shoot quite significant planes. Now you can, but most to self defense, guys. Seriously. I cannot com come up with one good AA cruiser which absolutely murders the, um, the planes. Uh, but uh, let me know in the comment below which is your favorite uh, cruiser line and why. I will definitely uh, um, in the next video talk about my to-go cruisers and why I love them. And there's a gimmick between regular Tech 3 cruisers and of course some premiums one. But I really, really, really believe that some cruisers like this Miyoko, it's a good all-rounder. There's nothing wrong with it and of course it all ships has the downsides and and, and and potential and very much like to say it's depend of your play style but i do honestly believe that some cruisers line are very fun to play they have unique play style and i kind of like it you know what i mean um, this uh, cruiser by the way it has amazing torpedo power the only problem is that you cannot use it if you like here and or here or here you have to just kite away and send those torpedo then you are a very big threat to everything cruiser battleship you name it because you do have very strong torpedoes and you don't want to eat none of, of those torpedo if you eat more than two you're probably gone so yeah i honestly believe it's a lot of fun to play cruisers and yes, you have to know your position. Yes, you have to know um, to not overextend, to not over push, push with other battleship, push you your team. If you go too fast and the first thing <laughs> like five battleship is aiming at you, well, you're going to be like world of tanks. You're going to end this game in less than two and a half minutes or so. That's the average time for world of tanks. The whole game experience, it's non-existent the most time the game ended within five minutes uh, sometimes even on world of warships guys thank us for watching and always ca captains fierces and goodbye